Hi, my name is Ricky Wynn. I'm one of the senior application engineers at Hawker Systems. And today we're going to go over how we can add mates using the mates menu, quick mates, and smart mates. So the first way we learned to add mates is going to be with the mate icon. It looks like the paper clip in our assembly tab. So if we click on the mate menu, on the left hand side you'll see a spot for selections. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click on the inside surface of this clip. And you'll see it become transparent. So on the very bottom, there is a checkbox called Make First Selection Transparent. Obviously, if I have it unchecked, then in this case, um, it wouldn't have been become transparent. And it kind of allows us to uh, be able to select through things. So the next thing all you got to do is just select what you want to mate it with. So in this case, I want to click on the outside cylindrical surface of the pin. You're going to get a menu that asks you, do you want to make this concentric, which we do. And if it doesn't guess the right mate, then you'll go ahead and select the correct mate that you want. And then press the green check to add the mate. From here, they can just go ahead and continue adding in mates. For example, next thing I want to do is I want to make this um, the, the bottom of this face coincident with the, uh, the outside face of the clip. Okay. One of the things that you can do is when you're inside the mate menu is you can do a select other or you can select through um, faces. right? You kind of make it transparent. The way to do that is you're going to click on the Alt key, so A-L-T. You can see how it makes that, ra that, um, that round face transparent and then I can select through it to allow me to select that face. Right? The alternative was to just rotate it and then select that face. Then I'll just left click on this face. Again, it'll ask me if I want to make it, in this case, coincident, which I do. I'm going to go ahead and press OK. I'll go ahead and press OK. Right, so that's just utilizing the, the mates menu. So you're in the mate menu, you kind of have your selections. Another way is I'm going to go ahead and repeat the, the same steps that we just did, and I'm going to utilize quick mates this time. So I'll go ahead and delete these mates. And I'll just move the commodity out in space. And just an FYI, when you're in mates, right, your left click and drag is going to move your components, and your right click, if you hold that down, that's going to help you can rotate your individual components, right? Your middle mouse buttons, mouse middle mouse buttons, can rotate your uh, your entire assembly. So, taking a look at your quick mates, how that's done is it's utilizing pre-selection. So, if you know which faces that you want to mate together without needing to be in the mate menu, all you got to do is just click on the face. And in Windows, how you can select two things at one time is you either use Control or Shift, right? So holding down Control or Shift, you're going to go ahead and select the other face. What pops up is our quick mates, OK? We'll go ahead and select the mate that we want. In this case, I want to make it concentric. And then I'll add the concentric mate. Okay, repeating that same process. If I wanted to, um, again, rotate and select that face, rotate this way, and again, the key is holding now control. Kind of like when you're adding relations inside of a sketch. I'm going to go ahead and click coincident, and then have it add in that mate. So that's quick mates. If you prefer, kind of pre-selecting. Right, you can go ahead and uh, add mates that way too. The last thing we're going to look at is utilizing smart mates. So this is where we can um, kind of drag components together and have them magically snap into place. Right. So I'm going to go ahead and move this pin out again. And in some cases, I can do multiple mates at the same time. So if you remember, just in the last two examples we did, we did concentric and then we did coincident, right? Of course, we can do them, you know, out of out of that order as well. So what I want to do here is what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this edge, 
and I'm going to hold down my Alt key on our keyboard, A-L-T, and I'm going to drag that to this edge here, okay? And what that's going to give me is going to give me an icon. It looks like a peg going into a hole. It's going to create actually both a concentric and a coincident mate at the same time, right? That's the end result. Um, one tip here when you're doing this is I like being able to see what I'm dragging, right? And what I'm dragging it to in the same view, kind of in that, um, you know, so I can see them both at the same time. So, for example, how this works is I'm going to hold down the Alt key, and you'll see it highlight, right, that uh, edge in orange. I'm going to left click and drag, and you can see it become transparent. If it doesn't become transparent, then most likely it's not um, operating it correctly. So it's going to become transparent, and I'm going to drag it to, in this case, I have that, that edge, that inside cylindrical surface, right? I'm looking for that icon, that peg going in the hole. One thing to note is sometimes it might flip on you. So for example, right now it's not flipping on me, but if it looks something like this, right, it's still technically concentric and coincident, but just in a different mate alignment, all right? So how I did this was I let go of the Alt key, and then you click on Tab, okay? Tab allows you to flip and change the mate alignment, all right? That's assuming that you haven't let go of your left mouse button yet, okay? Because your left mouse button is basically still pressed down the entire way. Let go. In this situation where you did let go already, right, the end result is it's still creating a concentric and a coincident mate. So all you need to do is just right click and go to flip mate alignment, then um, it'll basically flip the mate alignment. One other thing that we can um, look for is sometimes with our smart mate, the sensitivity, sometimes it might go a little bit too fast for us, sometimes it might be a little bit slow. So if you go up to your options, we're going to look in our system options under performance. And right here, there's a slider for our smart mate sensitivity. So right now I have it off, meaning that as I drag it to whatever I want it to mate to, it's going to mate um, almost instantaneously. But as I drag it more towards from the left to the right, it's going to be a little bit slower. Right? So it's going to see the, the components kind of go into to place a little bit slower. So if you want it to go a little bit slower, you can drag the slider to the right. If you want it to be a little bit fast, you can drag it to the left. Or if you want it to be you know, real quick, then you can have it set to be off like I do. So in today's video, we covered multiple ways to add mates in your SOLIDWORKS assembly. We took a look at using the mates menu, utilizing the quick mates, and finally, smart mates. Thanks for watching.